graduation day today. I cannot believe today is finally here. Like this literally seemed like so far off, like it was never gonna happen. And now it's here and it's time to get ready. So I thought I would do like a little get ready with me, show you guys the makeup I'm gonna be doing for my graduation. This needs to last me all day because I have my ceremony in the morning, then photos after, then my family and I are going to like a graduation brunch downtown. And then after that, I have a little like grad party just with family in the evening at the Airbnb my family is staying at. So need this to last me all day long. I'm going for like kind of like a natural full glam look. Let's get started. Okay, step one is to clip my hair back. Don't judge that these clips do not match. Okay, so I'm starting off by moisturizing. I'm using the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. This is like the little sample you get for your birthday. I love this stuff. With the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. There's like literally none left in here. This is gonna be the last hurrah. I like never do my makeup on camera, so hopefully it works. So take some of the Power Grip Primer. I love this stuff because it's so sticky. Like it really feels like your makeup has something to stick to. I feel like we're back to like 2015 Emma doing makeup because I literally never do makeup videos because I feel like nowadays when you do your makeup on camera like there's always someone commenting like you're not supposed to do it this way and then the next thing I like to apply is my Elta MD sunscreen I love this stuff you guys it's tinted and so lightweight if you wanted to wear it on its own without like foundation you totally could it kind of gives your makeup like a glowy undertone. I'd say it's kind of like the Super Goop Glow Screen. Even though I've never tried it, I just assume they're kind of similar. But I always wear SPF, it's super important. It's like the number one biggest, cheapest anti-aging hack is wearing SPF every day. So that is how I do the base for my makeup. You guys, this is so fun. Like I kind of miss the days when like anyone could be a beauty guru, you know, like 2014, 2015 vibes, like Anybody can make makeup videos and nobody would like say anything about it. <laughs> For foundation, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless. This is like my favorite drugstore foundation. Um, I'm in the shade 122 when I'm tan. Otherwise I'd be in like the fairest shade because I'm so fair. I also just got a new piercing a few days ago, guys. I don't know if you can see right here. It was a very spontaneous piercing, so I didn't really think much about it, but I guess it's really common for makeup to get in there because it's like right where your ear meets your face. Um, so I have to be very careful like not to blend makeup all the way. Okay, next I take this e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer and I think this is in the lightest shade, Fair Rose, because I just kind of like to highlight. Oh my God, I just got some on my pants. This is why I don't wear the outfit I'm gonna wear when I'm doing my makeup, because I like always make a mess somehow. Just do a couple of dots up here. Okay, and once my concealer is blended in, I take the Maybelline Fit Me Powder, matte poreless in the shade 100, translucent, and I just pat this over top. And then before I move on, I like to set what I've done so far with the Milani Make It Last Dewy Setting Spray. Okay, I'm kind of weird and like to skip around like which parts of my makeup I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip to my eyebrows now. I just like fixing these up because I feel like it makes me feel like I'm already steps ahead on my makeup when my brows are done. So I use this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in soft brown. The key is to be very light with this and kind of like hold it down here so it goes on with less of a heavy hand. I'm like totally reverting back into Beauty Guru Emma. I'm not a makeup artist. I know a lot of things I might be doing may be wrong, but this is what personally works for me. And I'm just very lightly drawing strokes until it's dark enough. Okay, so I think that's good for now. I usually leave it right here, and then once the rest of my makeup is done, I'll go touch them up even more, because it looks different like once you have like your eyes on and everything like that. And then that's also when I'll like set it with brow gel and stuff and clean up any parts I don't like with concealer. But now I'm going to move into bronzer. So lately for bronzer, I have been using this Rare Beauty Bronzing Stick in the shade Happy Soul. 
is definitely an arm workout. <laughs> okay, and then I like to do a little bit up here. And then I also like to bring a little bit on my nose. All right, once I'm done with the cream bronzer, I like to take my Benefit Hula Bronzer, which is a powder, and just kind of lightly dust this on to set it. Next, I do a blush. I use the Benefit Dandelion Blush, and I like to over blush a little, not too much. I don't like it to be like crazy, like clown vibes, but I do like a lot of blush. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls, always over blush. I know that sound is so overused. And I like to do a little on my nose too. Okay, next are the eyes, which are probably gonna be the hardest to do on camera. I still remember that from back in my beauty guru days. But I love my Tartlet and Bloom palette. I use this every day. I take this light, like white shade. It's kind of just like to put this all over the lid, just so it kind of sets the foundation underneath. I'll just put a little something in my crease. I just love this palette because it has some really good everyday neutrals. And then for the past like six months, I've been doing this every single time I wear makeup. I like to do a soft brown wing and it took me the longest time to like master it, but now I can like pretty much do it on the first try every time. And it's because of this product, the CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus in espresso and it has like this soft pencil side and then this smudging side which is how I get like the perfect wing and then I'm gonna take my benefit boing concealer and I just clean it up even more All right, I'm gonna take my rare beauty highlighter in the shade enlighten I love this stuff, I love the applicator, and I'm just going to highlight like all the areas you would, like cheekbones. Before I apply false lashes, I like to usually curl my lashes and apply a little bit of mascara, kind of like to coat it. The L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, this is my favorite. I think it just gives the lashes like a little something to adhere to so there's not like a gap between your real lashes and your fake lashes. Okay, so as you can see, it's just a pretty light coat. And then these are my current favorite lashes. They're the Kiss Looks So Natural. I just love these because they give you a nice amount of volume and really make your eyes look full without looking like too dramatic. There is one eye done, you can see the difference. And now I'm gonna do the other eye, same thing. So now I'm gonna wait for these to dry and finish up my eyebrows. And the last step with the brows is to just, oops, set with a clear brow gel. And I just take a little bit and kind of go up. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go curl my hair. I feel like you guys all know how to curl your hair so you don't need to see me do that. Okay guys, I am back from curling my hair. Since I have really thin hair, like my hair doesn't look like that different curled. Like it's just like a little bit of, bounciness in it but it's nothing special but I just thought it would be nice to switch things up for graduation because I usually just wear my hair straight but last couple steps before I'm finished with everything is to curl the false eyelashes add like a little bit of shimmer in my inner corner and then I like to do just a little bit of bottom mascara you can see it just like opens up my eyes a lot more compared to this eye see it's a lot more open now and then I'm gonna take the same mascara and I just kind of brush it on with a gentle hand so it's not like clumpy the last step is to take this ColourPop eyeshadow I don't know what shade it's in because it kind of like brushed off but I love this for my inner corner it just brightens the eyes a lot so I just take a brush and kind of push it in there same for the other side. And that is it, we are pretty much done. And then, surprise, surprise, I'm going to set it again. For lip gloss, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Lifter Gloss um, in the shade Moon. I love this stuff because it has hyaluronic acid in it. Um, so it's not super drying.
Okay, so that is it for my hair and makeup. Now I'm going to change into my outfit and I'll show you guys like the dress I'm wearing and all of my regalia, which is, I don't know if it's regalia or regalia, but that's basically like your cup, your gown, your stoles, your cords, all of that. So let's change. Hey guys, I just put my dress on. It's the same dress that I wore for my grab picks. If you guys watch that vlog, it's from Princess Polly. I love that it's just super simple and it's also pretty form fitting, which I wanted because when I have the gown on, it's really loose. So I wanted to like a little bit of contrast. But before I put on my jewelry, I like to use this stuff for special occasions. It's the Anastasia Shimmer Body Oil. And I like to just spray it on my chest because it gives you a nice little sparkle. You just like rub it in. And it's so pretty like in the sunlight because it just like reflects and glitters. I'm gonna put on these gold hoops from Target. And then this necklace that I'm putting on, it's a little padlock. It is from Ana Luisa. So pretty. And then this is a charm bracelet that I've actually had since 2000 so it's 22 years old from my godmother i have a feeling that she got me another charm to add to this for my college graduation because i have one on here from high school that i will show you guys it says 2018 if you guys can see that and then i also have these beaded bracelets from amazon and then i'm gonna put on my rings there we go and then i'm gonna be wearing my favorite perfume daisy love i love this stuff I get so many compliments on it whenever I wear it. It's just very like flirty, florally, and girly, but not too strong. It's also like mature and sophisticated too. Okay, so that is my entire outfit. Oh, and my shoes, which you guys can't see. They're just nude heels from Lulu's. And now is the time for me to put on all of my regalia. I'm so excited to see this all together. So first I'm gonna put on my Cow Poly stole. It just looks like this and it says Cal Poly 22, 2022 and it has our logo. It just goes on like that. I love the look of the white dress with the stoles like minus the gown because the gown is just like a lot. And then I have my sorority stole. Every sorority has a different like colored stole or some of the, a lot of them are red but a lot of them are also like blue or pink. Ours is red. It says class of 2022, AO Pi. And you get stoles from all different things. Like if you're in like an organization on campus, a lot of them give you stoles. Um, and it's like a really cool way to just highlight what you were involved in in college. And then if you graduate with Latin honors, which is cum laude, magna cum laude, and summa cum laude, summa cum laude, I'm not even sure how you say <laughs> pronounce them all. I'm probably pronouncing them wrong, but Latin honors, basically it's if you have a three, five or higher. Um, and each one is different. So cum laude is like 3.5 to like 3.7-ish, I think. Magna cum laude is like, I think it's like 3.75 to, I don't know, it's like the middle range. And then summa cum laude is like the top you can get basically like up to a 4.0. So I am graduating with cum laude, which means I have a 3.5. So I get to wear these really cool cords. And then you can also wear like lays and stuff. A lot of people's parents get them lays. My friend Caleb's mom actually got me a lay, which was super, super nice. So now I am all ready to go besides my gown and my cap. Okay, so here's my gown. It's a dark green color for Cal Poly. And you actually custom order these like according to your height so that they're not too short or too long. Ah! Oh my goodness. And then we have our cap. And fun fact, you guys, I don't know if this is for every school, but at least at Cal Poly, Every different college um, gets their own tassel color. So I'm in the business college and ours is like, I think it's called drab. It's like a brown. Ah! Gotta straighten her out. I think I'm wearing it the right way. Am I? Okay, and then it goes on the right side. Before you graduate and then once you graduate you move it over to the left which I'm so excited to take a video of I really hope I get that but this is my outfit let's go graduate we are on our way to graduation my brother's driving us on your chest. 
Graduates, it is because of you that all of us are here. Your hard work and dedication are paying off. You will join a distinct and elite group of more than 4.1 million alumni. You are graduates, we're so proud of you. <laughs> Emma Monden, Josh Ravalon. Eris Bussey, Vince Armstrong. Courtney McCloskey. Cause baby in your absence life is boring So I'll never leave Look how cute you guys They gave us a little Cal Poly goodie bag As we were walking out of commencement And I got the cutest little tumbler It says Cal Poly Orfila College of Business I'm so excited to use this And then we got A Cal Poly Proud keychain Which I'm going to put on my car keys That's so cute And then it says class of 2022 And then we also just got this class of 2022 commencement little booklet with everyone's names who graduated and like the college that they're in and it's so cool because it also marks next to your name like if you graduated with the distinction so let me see if i can find myself okay here's orfala college of business there's me with a c next to my name for cum laude how cool is that you guys so i love that after all the tuition we paid they gave us a little goodie bag i'm like half joking but i actually feel like a lot of colleges don't do this so this is super cute and a great little way to commemorate today okay you guys i just got to my family's airbnb and i'm going to show you guys the party decor my godmother is the master party planner behind all of this she did an amazing job so i'm going to show you guys a little bit of what it looks like but it's so pretty and i'm so grateful that she put the time into all of this it's amazing Oh, 